the Arsenio Hall show earlier this year. And in two months, I'm going to be on last call with Carson Daly. So you never know where these people might go. All right, so I'm going to bring up your next performer. Keep that energy going, kid, please. You've been doing a great job giving them love and support. So make some noise for your next performer, Judd Travis. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. So good to be here. I just moved to LA from Texas. Yeah, Texas! It's not that great. It sucks. I got one of those apartment locator guys help me find a place to live. He, um, he told me that my rent needs to be a third of my monthly income. And I told him what my monthly income is, and uh, he located me a great place in uh, Death Valley. It's, it's been a lot of fun out there. My, my friends in Texas will call and ask if I've seen any stars out here. No, but uh, I look up at them every night. I'm getting used to all the Toyota Priuses. Does anyone drive a Toyota Prius? Uh, I fucking hate you people. <laughs> caught dead driving a Prius. No one would drive that thing, you know, about here. You know, I'll be lost trying to find my exit on the 101. Uh, right and some mean guy the other day swerved by and almost hit me in a Prius and he rolled down his window flipping me off. Hey asshole, I'm cutting back my smog farming emissions. I'm reducing dependence on foreign oil. I get 65 miles to the gallon. What do you get? Uh, late. Not that often, but it does occur once every few years or so. Uh, it's weird out here. You, you can't even use plastic bags at the grocery store. You know, I, I don't want to be one of those Prius driving people carrying around, you know, five satchels of a hemp bag. You know, I don't want to do that. So my solution is I've been bringing my roller suitcase with me to Trader Joe's. That hasn't gone well. People look at me like I'm a, a terrorist thinking I have a bomb in my bag and I'm gonna blow up their hummus and triple ginger snacks or whatever it is people eat. Uh, you know? And uh, don't get me wrong, I've considered blowing myself up before. But I'd at least do it at a Whole Foods. Just to get back to the old pricing, it's ridiculous. I was there the other day, and they charged me $170 for eight items. I looked at the cashier, I said, good God, what'd you put in my suitcase? Cocaine? At least some good weed? Well, super food is super expensive. Oh yeah, well, I was gonna argue with him, but um, after you spend $170 on kale and quinoa, uh, I needed to get home. <laughs> and, and what's the deal with, with Whole Foods having paper bags in their bathroom? That's not very environmentally friendly, is it? it even the Inglewood Jack in the Box has one of those things where you push the knob and it gives a blowjob to a homeless guy. I tried it, it's kind of dry, but it feels okay. It feels okay. You know, it feels okay. I was watching TV the other day and I saw that McDonald's commercial where the grand prize is to win a game of one-on-one -on -one basketball with LeBron James. <laughs> this is great for me because I'm a fan of both LeBron and uh, getting my ass kicked. <laughs> Can McDonald's make a game that lowers your self-esteem anymore? What, what is the runner-up get? A, a penis-sized comparison contest with Shaq? <laughs> Oh. Um, I mean, I don't get me wrong, I'm a confident guy, it's just I'm not confident when it comes to playing against the best basketball player in the world and, uh, penis size. Uh, my mom's in really good shape for her age, I hate it. But why did the words MILF and cougar have to become popular once I've reached adulthood? Now I feel like I'm in the beginning of a porno movie every time me and my mom share an appetizer at Applebee's. I look over and there's a guy my age smiling and nodding. 
I cringe every time the waiter leaves the bill with me. Oh, wait, it's not what you think. Oh. Mom, why'd you have to wear those yoga pants again? But, I mean, I, I used to have a thing for my cousin, but that went away. She got married. Lots of my friends are getting married. They'll act like marriage is this huge accomplishment, but it's not. I could get married right now at this very moment if I wanted to. All I need is a wireless internet connection, a debit card, and a bigger apartment to house a Russian woman. I don't have that right now. The weddings are terrible. I went to one recently and my friends and the bride was wearing all white to show how pure and innocent she is. But then I remembered just who the bride is. I said, wait, wait a second, that girl from high school? She's not pure and innocent. She hasn't been innocent since 2006 when she was a virgin Olive Garden hostess who ended up banging the 23-year-old line cook because she was so impressed that she had a Motorola Razor phone and was working towards an associates in criminal justice. Uh, my friend will say, you, you can't talk about sex at a wedding? Well, well, then she shouldn't bring it up by wearing all white. Uh, I mean, I want girls to know what my intentions and level of innocence are when I go on a date, but I don't show up at her house wearing a Darth Vader costume. You guys have been great. Thank you.